In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create an alpha brush. First, we're going to need to resize our canvas. Go up to Document, and on the width and height, you're going to put in 500, but make sure to turn off Constrained Proportions. Okay, then press Resize. Now, if you need to, you can, of course, zoom in on the document by pressing the Zoom button and moving your mouse up and down. Next, click on the giant golden S and grab the plain 3D. Drag it onto the canvas, press the edit button, make it a poly mesh 3D, then go down to geometry and make sure to turn off smoothing. Okay, otherwise your brush is going to get rounded corners and it's going to mess with your alpha. So go ahead and turn off smoothing and divide a few times. From here, we're going to go ahead and create our alpha. So you can paint anything on here you want uh, <laughs> as your brush. Uh, for this example, though, we're going to let's see here. Use one of my favorite tools, of course, symmetry. Turn it up a little bit, and let's draw something on here. All right. Maybe change things up. Use the H polish brush. make it a little bit more mechanical looking. And once you're happy with the way your brush looks, press F on the keyboard to center it. And then we're going to go to your alpha palette and press grab document. All right? And now you have an alpha. Okay? And from here, we're going to test it out. So go to your simple brush, click switch, go back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> click on the giant golden S and grab a sphere. You're going to need to clear your canvas, so hold control and press N. Draw the sphere onto the canvas, press the edit button and turn it into a poly mesh 3D. Go to geometry and you can leave smoothing on for this one. Just divide a few times. Oops. <laughs> okay, now under the standard brush, or actually using the standard brush, go to your alpha palette and click on the one you just created. There it is. Of course, <laughs> Uh, it'll actually react differently depending on the settings that you have on it. In fact, in most cases, you're going to have a weird uh, square around uh, your brush. But this one was pretty clean in creation, so you can add or use it for subtraction. It's really good for uh, mechanical stuff. Now, as you can see, it's not very, it's not very strong. The intensity is only set to 25, which is okay, I guess, but let's bring it up just a little bit. We'll put it at 48. And as you can see, it can cut in even further into your mesh or add to it if you're not holding down the Alt key. So uh, what you're going to want to do is find that sweet spot. Oops. Try drawing it on a flat surface here. Okay. That's actually pretty weak. Let's bring the intensity up to maybe 35. Okay. And draw it on. Once you like the intensity and uh, you're comfortable with all the settings, just go into your brush and say save brush as. We'll save this as Mac 001. Press save. And just like the insert brush, you can recall those brushes whenever you want. So if you want to load it back in, uh, you can. Okay. Now one more thing to go over is uh, this is a just in case. Uh, <laughs> sometimes when creating one of these uh, alphas, it'll have uh, a little trim on the side. So the way to fix that, and I'll see if I can't recreate this for you. The way to fix that is the mid value. So we're going to bring that up just a little bit. There we go. This is typically what your brush looks like. You know, you get this 
little border on there, which is from the alpha. However, uh, to get rid of it, you have to play with the mid value. So there is definitely, most definitely, a sweet spot on this one. So you'll have to play around with the numbers to get it to disappear. Uh, when I created this alpha, though, uh, kind of lucked out in the fact that uh, the alpha by itself was perfect. So it, it didn't have that weird border. But just in case, uh, you'll have to mess with the mid values. Once you get it to where that border's gone, that's when you're going to want to save the brush.